Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinkerer Studio. Welcome to the fourth Blender 2.8 tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be exploring the Blender 2.8 beta, multi-object editing, materials, and rendering. In Blender 2.7, when you have multiple meshes that you wanted to edit, you had to do so one at a time. Now in Blender 2.8, this is no longer an issue. If you want to be able to work on multiple meshes at once, all you need to do is select all of the meshes and then tab into edit mode. This way you can work on both meshes at the same time. And when you tab back into object mode, they are still separate meshes. When you wanted to add a material in Blender 2.7, you would be given the default option of a diffuse material. In Blender 2.8, however, when you add a material, you are automatically given the option of the principal BSDF shader. Now this shader not only allows you to change the base color, but it also has a subsurface color which is useful when adding material to such things as skin. In addition, you have multiple options for materials such as metallic, roughness, sheen, and transmission. The principal BSDF shader is a PBR shader, a physically based rendering shader. This means that the shader allows for a more realistic look to the material. This is especially noticeable with reflections. Now, reflections change depending upon the angle that you are observing them. If we make this cube have a quite a bit of a metallic texture to it, when we move around, you can see how the light bounces and changes depending on the angle that we're looking at it. So for example, if you look at a shiny car straight on, you don't see much reflection. But if you look at it from an angle, you'll begin to see reflections of the surrounding environment. This is called a Fresnel effect. And this is what is now the standard in Blender 2.8 for both Cycles and Eevee. The ability to render used to be under the Camera tab in Blender 2.7. This is no longer the case in Blender 2.8. You can still use F12 to render a scene, so that has not changed in 2.8. Render options are now under the Render menu in the header. You can render an image or an animation, and you can also choose where the render will display. The default is in a new window. Now there's just a few notes about the EV Render Engine, which is the default engine in 2.8. Bounce lighting in EV Render Engine is not automatic. If you go under the Render tab, you will need to actually check the screen space reflections. If you look right here on the bottom corner of the cube as I turn this on and off, you will see the difference in bounce lighting. And you can also see a bit of a sheen of the red color on the plane on the bottom. The shadows will also be very rough in Eevee because it doesn't have proper ray tracing. Now this can be solved by selecting your light and then adjusting the shadow properties under the light tab. Generally this is going to include softness, but there's actually a better method if you go under the Render tab, there is a Shadows section. You can play around with the options here, 
but if we hit soft shadows that's going to make a lot of difference because it will feather and soften the edges of the shadows. You can see this as I turn the soft shadows on and off. Now often the shadow of the mesh that is closest to the floor doesn't have a natural looking shadow on Eevee. You can especially see this right here at the front corner of this cube. Now this can be solved by selecting your light under the shadow options make sure that you have contact shadows turned on when I zoom in you can see the difference between having this on and having it off and you also need to adjust other options like the distance and the softness. So this was just a brief look at multi-object editing, materials, and rendering in Blender 2.8. I hope you found this useful. If you follow along with this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please tweet me your creations. The link is in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions for tutorials, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.